In this video, I am going to talk about project planning, estimation and control uh, in brief. First, the project planning. Uh, almost every study uh, find that project failures are caused primarily due to poor project management, especially the failure to plan properly. So, uh, uh, a project cannot have a control unless we have a plan. So planning is therefore planning is not an option it's a requirement uh, planning is in fact uh, simply answering the following questions even the project planning uh, like who what when how how much how long etc of a project now in going into the details of uh, project planning uh, basically uh, project planning Uh, starts with the definition of project objectives, requirements, and scope. And in this step, uh, outcome elements like uh, project end items, desired result, time, cost, and performance targets are defined. And uh, then after that, uh, specific work activities, tasks, or jobs to be achieved to achieve the objectives are defined and by doing this it will answer the question of what all uh, things that are required to be carried out for project for successful completion of the project then after that uh, next step would be to create a project organization by specifying the departments subcontractors and managers responsible for uh, work activities so in doing this we get answers to questions like who will do what for the completion of the project then the next step is to prepare a project schedule after having identified what needs to be done and who will do what then we can determine the project schedule showing the timing of the work activities, deadlines and milestones and from this we can answer questions uh, like when and in what order. Then once uh, the scheduling is done then we can prepare a budget and resource plan showing the amount and timing of resources and expenditures for work activities and related items and through this we can 
answer questions like how much and when resources needs to be re uh, ready and uh, when uh, expenditures will be incurred and so on then we can prepare a forecast of time cost and performance projections for the completion of the project and from this we can answer questions like how much time is needed what it will cost and when will the project be finished and so on okay then after that a formal written over all plan is uh, prepared which is called uh, project master plan or project summary plan and the purpose of doing this is to guide the project manager and team throughout the project life cycle and also to tell them what resources are needed when and how much they will cost and so on and also this uh, master plan will enable the project manager and the project team to measure progress determine when they are falling behind and know what to do to catch up and so on now moving on to the project cost estimation cost estimates are determined using four basic techniques number one expert opinion in this case uh, someone with a uh, uh, breadth of uh, experience and expertise is consulted and uh, an expert opinion is received on the overall cost of a project which will provide a rough estimate and since this is uh, less accurate the it, this method is limited to estimation of cost during the conception phase or initiation phase or for projects that are poorly defined or uh, projects that are unique for which there are no previous uh, or similar projects to compare with so the cost estimate uh, is based on what uh, a person with an experience and expertise uh, roughly gives a rough estimate another method of estimating project cost is using analogy this is done by reviewing cost uh, from previous similar projects and the cost for a similar project or work package is analyzed and adjusted for differences between the project that we are comparing with and the proposed project taking into account factors such as date, project scale, location, complexity, exchange rates, uh, maybe inflation and so on.
another method of estimating project cost is using empirical or mathematical relationship which is called parametric uh, method in this case the parameters are such as physical features like area volume weight and so on are used in the form of a mathematical relationship and the cost is derived from that relationship like for example in this case uh, we have a relationship where y is equal to this plus this into x1 plus this into x2 where y is the building size and x1 is the floor space in x2 is the number of uh, receiving docks for that building and from this we can uh, <coughs> similar to this we can call we can derive a formula or mathematical relationship uh, in terms of the cost and get a get an estimate <coughs> Like for example, the cost of construction of a building, maybe we can get from the uh, unit square foot of floor space. And by multiplying the total floor space with the cost of unit uh, floor space then another method is cost engineering where detailed cost analysis of individual cost categories at the work package or activity level is carried out so this is a bottom-up approach where the cost estimation of the cost starts from the smallest uh, work element called activity and the uh, cost of uh, each activity is totaled up and that will give the cost of a work package and the cost of each work package can be then totaled up and then it will give the a task level uh, cost and the total of each task level cost estimate can be totaled up and then we can get the total cost of the whole project and so on and so forth so in this case the it starts by breaking down the project into activities or work packages and then uh, for each activities or work package we can try to estimate the cost and then the cost estimate of each work package can be totaled up and then we can get the cost estimate for the higher level of uh, the uh, project and so on okay so moving on to the project control uh, project control can be internal or external internal control refers to the contractors uh, system and procedures for monitoring work reporting status and taking corrective actions external control refers to the additional 
procedures and control that is imposed upon by the customer Uh, for example, government contra contracts uh, sometimes impose external control by stipulating frequent report by the contractors on schedules, cost and technical performance, inspection of work by the managers uh, or project team from the client organization or inspection of the contractor's book of account and records by government uh, auditors and so on. Uh, the emphasis of the project control during the control phase is usually on scope change uh, quality uh, schedule and procurement uh, scope change control uh, aims to identify where changes have occurred and uh, see if the changes are uh, really required or beneficial and uh, contain or delim delimit the changes wherever, wherever possible and manage implementation of changes. Uh, the main aim of quality control is to achieve the contracted or desired requirements and specifications and to take preventive measures to keep errors and mistakes out of the work progress and identify and eliminate sources of errors and mistakes uh, through which uh, the quality of the work being carried out can be controlled then the schedule control the purpose of this is to keep the project on schedule and minimize schedule overrun and project delays this is required because even when projects are carefully planned and estimated they can fall behind for reasons behind reasons beyond anybody's control uh, for example during the time of project implementation there may be a certain situation where you need to change the scope or maybe because of a weather problem the schedule may be affected schedule for uh, carrying out uh, certain activities may be affected or the schedule may be you know, uh, uh, implementation of uh, project activities may be delayed because of shortage of materials and so on uh, another project control is procurement control this is done when uh, some of the facilities or parts or products are designed and produced by uh, some other uh, entities. Uh, in this case, the project manager or the team will be required to visit and inspect the facilities of suppliers responsible for designing and producing certain 
component or parts of the facility for facility that is being worked on for the project to make sure that they meet the requirements. Uh, another part of the control is the cost control. This is required to track uh, expenditures and compare with budget to see if there is any variances and also to eliminate unauthorized or inappropriate expenditures and minimize or contain cost changes. This is also important to identify why cost variances are occurring and when changes to cost baselines are necessary if required and what cost changes are reflected in the budgets and cost baselines and based on this we can see whether uh, changes in the cost baselines are uh, allowable or not and then only really change the cost baseline and so on okay so i will stop here thank you